Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing another 15 minute class called The Healer and we'll focus on the healing energy that we all have within us and we'll bring it up with a mudra. So are you ready to get your 15 minutes? When your dreams come true And you got 15 minutes when to spare When your dreams come true And you're living your life without a care when your dreams come true. Today's class is going to be a strongish espresso shot and we're going to start at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, bring your ring finger the very tip to the tip of your thumb and straighten the other fingers and feel the energy between the fingers flow. We're bringing the earth element to the fire element, increasing the earth element in the body, therefore removing anxiety or allowing ourselves to flow with that energy of letting go of anxiety and increasing stability, steadiness, sturdiness, just general energy, vitality and stamina, something that comes from the earth element. And Pritvi is the vast one or it refers to earth, the earth energy. So we are connecting to that earth energy as healers, as self healers, earth healers. Nice deep inhalations, pull the belly in, mula bandha in because this is also a root chakra mudra. Mudras are nonverbal communication, expressing deep, profound concepts, ideas, and tapping into energy that is beyond words. It's using the energies in the body, tapping into that energy and directing it. Shift your weight onto the right leg and step the left leg all the way back and you can still hold your mudra, take high lunge. Lower it down a little, look up, step to the front, shift opposite side. Step to the front, right side one more time, high lunge, left, right, left, step to the front, release your mudra, feel free to come back to this mudra later during your day and if you want to increase that vitality energy in your body digestion and forward fold also assimilation plank and we're gonna shift the hips side to side one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga up dog. Chaturanga down dog. Take the right leg up. Come into one legged plank and let's bring the knee in one, two, three, four, five. Step it through. Right arm reaches up, twist, spread the fingers open, side plank, knee tucks, one, there of course optional, you can just hold this, if you're still working on your side planks, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
keep your right leg in the air, plank. And we're gonna bend the knee and press it up five times. Press the heel up. One, two, three, four, five. And bring it back down, lower onto your belly. You can, instead of cobra, you can lift here, hands and feet off the ground. And down dog. Take the left leg up. One legged plank, knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five. Step it through, right hand on the floor. Left arm reaches up, press the back heel straight up as well. Soften into the twist and side plank. And let's bring the knee in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, one legged plank and let's press the heel up. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, lower down onto your belly. Lift here, lower, belly, uh, lower back strength. Child's pose. One more time, lay onto your belly. Bend the knees, flex your feet, and let's grab the ankles. Lift here. Now, if this is too hard, you can just press the feet down, clasp the hands, or even unclasp, reach back and hold here for another breath. And let's go into down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, drop the back heel down, warrior two. And let's touch the ring finger, the very tip to the thumb one more time. Pritvi Mudra and reverse it. Hold it here. Great, side angle. Release the mudra, step it back, plank to chaturanga, to up dog, to chaturanga, to down dog. And stay the left leg up, step it through. Warrior to the right leg. One more time. Mudra. Frankly, increasing the healing capacity of the body. And reverse it. You can turn the right hand face up or palm up. And side angle. In coming up, straighten the lead knee. We're gonna open the feet out. Bring the hands just over the thighs and sit in plie. You can pose here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the mudra, hands over the heart, straighten the legs, point the feet forward and we're gonna take wide stance step the right foot at the very end of the mat take a wide squat to leg lift wide squat leg lift wide squat four five six seven eight nine and 10, 
come out take a big step to the other end and let's go squat feet are pointing almost completely forward maybe just a centimeter or so out four five six seven eight nine ten step to the front and we're going to do half point forward bend bend the knees get your mudra again going and open like a bird your arms out flex your back muscles so tap into that bird movement and hold it pull the belly in this is belly this is back lengthen the back of the neck great sit back chair sit as far back as you can really power up feel the body burning and again straighten the legs bird movement lengthen the back of the neck chair push your hips back you feel the shift in the glutes bird pull the belly in semi vacuum chair bird chair bird chair bird chair sink lower down and come into a seated grab your shin bones draw the belly towards the legs belly button in we're bringing the belly in and we're gonna do a very small move here and we're gonna do a very small move here shifting forward so really try to focus on the lower back curve it's a tiny move half an inch moving back and forth pulsing back and forth but really engaging the deep abdominal wall here open chest you want to look effortless you want to look like a dancer ballerina something but it is not easy so you want to maintain that easy look easy alignment and let's go one your deepest core muscles are involved in this move so feel them they're they're around the belly button one two three four five six seven eight nine Ooh, ten all right twisting time take the left knee up right knee on the floor twist look behind you lengthen through the crown of the head Excellent. Opposite side. Open chest, drop the shoulders down, find space, length. And face the front. Here we're going to finish in our mudra so again press the tip of the ring finger to the tip of the thumb and straighten the other fingers and you're touching your earth element to the fire thus increasing the earth which is vitality strength um, the positive aspects of kapha basically which can give you endurance, physical strength, stamina, health, beautiful bones, if you have to heal your bones, hair, skin, cartilage. Um, it's said to be a really good mudra to hold for up to 45 minutes a day. So if you're doing a meditation, you can just use this mudra. 
or if tonight you have a little extra time you can do a little more mudra meditation so for now i will leave you with this mudra stay here for as long as you need to as long as you have time for as long as you enjoy it focus on your breath focus on this moment on on the sweetness the the sensation the taste of the moment thank you for joining me for this 15 minutes of yoga today i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you tomorrow Namaste. when your dreams come true and you got 15 minutes when your dreams spare. come true and you're living your life without a care when your dreams come true